Hello everybody, I'm Karar and welcome to another MemTank, Introduction to Molecular Bio. All life is made up of elements. The six elements required by all organisms are carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Remember, schnapps, or schnapsticks, up to you. Essential elements are elements that an organism needs to survive and reproduce. In humans, the distribution looks like this. Oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium. To remember the six most common ones in order of percentage of body mass, think of the Ochna cap. Oxygen has the highest percentage followed by carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. Elements are found in various forms in the body. Ions are charged particles. Anions are negative, while cations are positive. Cats have paws, hence positive. Elements also come together to form compounds, an important one of which is water. Two of water's most important properties are cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion is like cooperation, which means together. It holds water molecules together. Adhesion is like a glue or an adhesive. You use it to glue one thing to another, and adhesion causes water to stick to the side of graduated cylinders and beakers. Water is known as a universal solvent. Solvent has the word vent in it, which means that things go into it. This is how you remember that in a solution, the solute, which rhymes with root, is rooted in or dissolved in the solvent. In solutions, there are many ways of measuring concentration. The metric of how much solute is present in relationship to the solvent. Molarity is the number of moles of solute over the total volume of the solution in liters, while molality is the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. When you come upon these two words, just remember your friend Mole Al Carl. With molality, you do moles over kilogram because after the AL, there's immediately a K. With molarity, you do moles over liters instead because after the AR, there's an L. You can also just remember that memorizing it as liters goes with molal because the L doesn't work. So molarity has to have liters. When we talk about molarity of a, the special hydrogen ion, we are talking about pH. pH kind of looks like a 14, so the scale ranges from 0 to 14. Uh, it also falls from that, the neutral is smack dab in the center at 7. Acid is before base in the alphabet, so acids are also before bases in the pH scale. Acids are 0 to 7, while bases are 7 to 14. H is also before OH in the alphabet. So higher concentrations of H plus contribute to acidity while OH minus contributes to basicity. Now let's talk about organic chemistry, or chemistry involving carbon. Carbon is one of the most important elements in living things as it makes up the backbone of many molecules. There are a couple important prefixes to know. Meth usually indicates one carbon, as in methane, while eth indicates two, as in ethane. Prop is three, boot is four, pent is five, and hex is six. Remember, meat eaters prefer buttered peppered ham. Once again, met is 1, eth is 2, prop is 3, butt is 4, pent is 5, and hex is 6. Organic compounds might have the same chemical formula with the same number of each type of element, but they can still di differ from each other in structure. Various forms of a certain compound are called isomers. Structural isomers differ in the structure of their backbone. This trans isomers differ based on where an element is with relationship to a double bond. Sisters are similar, so cis means that the element is on the same side as each other. Trans means you have to transit all the way across the molecule, so elements are on opposite sides. Enantiomers, more like enantiomers. Enantiomers are isomers that are related to each other like your right hand and left hand. In other words, they are mirror images of each other. Now, let's look at some bigger organic compounds. Some sugars, such as glucose, are made up of a 6-carbon ring. Fructose and galactose are structural isomers of glucose. Maltose, sucrose, and lactose are all sugars that are made up of two of these 6-carbon sugars. All of them have glucose. Maltose, which is made up of two glucoses, can be memorized as multiple glucose. Sucrose has an R in it, so it has to have fructose, which has an R in it, and glucose. Galactose ends with lactose. So lactose is galactose and glucose. Examples of even larger organic compounds include polymers, or chains of glucose molecules. There are four main types, starch, glycogen, cellulose, and chitin. Starch and glycogen are used for storage, while cellulose and chitin are used for building and structure. 
Storage has an A in it, so starch and glycogen have alpha bonds, meaning that the glucose is all facing the same way in the chain. Building has a B in it, so cellulose and chitin have beta bonds, meaning that the glucose molecules face in opposite directions. Another type of polymer are nucleic acids. Remember them as NISP. Nitrogen is base connected to a sugar connected to a phosphate. There are four nitrogenous bases in DNA, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. Adenine and guanine are purines, which are shaped like this, while thymine and cytosine are pyrimidines, which are shaped like this. Pure as gold is a great way to remember this. Pure for purine, as for adenine, and gold for guanine. Uracil is another pyrimidine, which replaces thymine and RNA. Uracil is the only base with an R, and so it's unique to RNA. To remember which bases pair with each other, remember UT Austin. Uracil and thymine both pair with adenine. This leaves cytosine to pair with guanine. To remember where things attach to the sugar of nucleic acid, remember the nitrogenous base and phos5 prime, since the nitrogenous base is on the 2 carbon of the sugar, while the phosphate is on the 5 prime carbon of the sugar. Those are all the main things to mem for the chemical bases of biology. What else would you like to know how to memorize? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more educational videos. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.